Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Good evening. This is Pastor Spencer from Messiah Lutheran Church in Salem, Oregon. And tonight we come to you from Salem, Oregon. Today is the 22nd of April, the year of our Lord, 2021. It is a Thursday evening. And tonight our psalm is the 44th psalm. Grab yourself your favorite beverage. Tonight we'll get into the 44th Psalm and also into John chapter 5. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, we have heard with our ears, our fathers have told us what deeds you performed in their days and the days of old. You with your own hand drove out the nations, but them you planted. You afflicted the people, but them you set free. For not by their own sword did they win the land, nor did their own arm save them, but your right hand and your arm, and the light of your face, for you delighted in them. You are my King, O God, ordain salvation for Jacob. Through you we push down our foes, through your name we tread down those who rise up against us, for not in my bow do I trust, nor can my sword save me. But you have saved us from our foes. You have put to shame those who hate us. In God we have boasted continually, and we will give thanks to your name forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And our prayer appointed for this evening. Father of all mercy, we thank you for sending your Son into our flesh to redeem us for yourself. For the sake of his obedience and suffering, grant us the forgiveness of all of our sins and shortcomings, and keep us from evil, as your Son, our Lord, prayed for us. In Jesus' holy name, amen. And tonight, like I said, we are going to continue in St. John's Gospel, chapter 5, Verses 1 through 8. Sometime later, Jesus went up to Jerusalem for the feast of the Jews. Now there is in Jerusalem, near the sheep gate, a pool, which in Aramaic is called Bethesda, and which is surrounded by five covered colonnades. Here a great number of disabled people used to lie, the blind, the lame, the paralyzed. One who was there had been an invalid for 38 years, when Jesus saw him lying there and learned that he had been in this condition for a long time, he asked him, Do you want to get well? Sir, the invalid replied, I have no one to help me into the pool when the water is stirred. While I am trying to get in, someone else goes down ahead of me. Then Jesus said to him, Get up, pick up your mat, and walk. At once the man was cured. He picked up his mat and walked. So far, the text. Sometime later, I love how John, as well as Luke, like to point out time, time and space that our Lord walks in. Sometime later, after the events up in Cana, sometime later, Jesus is back in Jerusalem. And they're at a pool that in Aramaic is called Bethesda. What a wonderful name. Uh, the Pool of Hospitality. Um, of grace, of mercy, actually. So, the Pool of Mercy. And what an interesting name to have for a pool. It is a place where people get healed when the water is stirred. And he runs across this man who cannot get into the water. And I think this is so interesting because it's exactly the condition that we're in. Here's a man that knows what needs to happen for him to be cured but he does not have the ability to do it. He has, as he says, he has no one to help him there. We are very similar. We know that we are dead in trespasses and sin, but we have nothing that we can do and no one to help us except the same one that helped this man who asked us, do you want to be well? 
the water is still valid. Of course, now we're talking about the waters of baptism that's done in the name of Jesus. He is the one that will help us as well as he helped this other. It is by his mercy, not by the pool that is called mercy, but the mercy of Christ. This Sunday, by the way, is Good Shepherd Sunday. The old Latin name is Misericordia Domini. Misera Cordia Domini, the merciful heart of the Lord. And what shows that better than the Good Shepherd? Jesus who takes care of his children, including the lame, the blind, and you and me. And he comes to us to offer us what we cannot get for ourselves. Forgiveness of sin and salvation. It's not up to us, it's up to him. And he gives us this mercy. For the mercy of the Lord endures forever. And so he is merciful. And he gives us that gift. Even as he gave this man his gift. Now we're going to see in the uh, study tomorrow how it created a ruckus. And isn't that interesting? Forgiveness of sin... Healing creates a ruckus. You would think everybody would rejoice. But there are those. There are those that think that Christianity is a crutch. There are those who think that Jesus was a charlatan. And there are those out there that will even call you less than a mature Christian if you don't act and do what they say. It's sad that we have Pharisees among Christians. But then, aren't we all? Thank God for Jesus, who forgives us wherever we are and in whatever we do. For that is why he came, that we might live, and that we might have life and that more abundantly, and that we might have that peace that surpasses all understanding. It only comes through Jesus. And that's why he came. And tonight, he wants you to know that he's still doing this. Still healing. Still touching people with this word. So may the peace of God be with you this night. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. Be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you his peace. God's blessing. Have a great night in the Lord.